Research indicates that about two-thirds of women enjoy being controlled. They prefer yielding. It's crucial to note that women typically aren't drawn to men who are easy to control. Instead, they are attracted to men who are strong and independent. If you're not assertive, you're not heading in the right direction. When you're with a woman, be confident and display your dominant side. Remember, there's only room for one leader, so learning to be dominant is essential. In the first part of this video, I'll explain how to be dominant with women. If you watch until the end, you'll also learn phrases that can make you seem more valuable and attractive to women. Understand that this course may sound straightforward, but it's quite challenging. I won't deceive you. Instead, I'll guide you towards total dominance. You're in the right place to start, so let's dive in. Here are 13 crucial rules for asserting your dominance with women. In the first part of this video, I'll explain how to be dominant with women. If you watch until the end, you'll also learn phrases that can make you seem more valuable and attractive to women. Understand that this course may sound straightforward, but it's quite challenging. I won't deceive you. Instead, I'll guide you towards total dominance. You're in the right place to start, so let's dive in. Set clear limits to show women you're in charge. Setting boundaries is where many guys falter when they're with a woman, whether she's your girlfriend, fiancé, or just someone you know. Always remember to establish boundaries. If she continuously makes decisions without consulting you, especially if they contradict your wishes, or she uses your things without asking, you're not taking charge if you're afraid to express how you feel. Men of worth will tell her what she shouldn't do. If you're always eager to please a girl, she might not respect you and could even leave. For example, if she asks when you can go on a date and you respond with next week, that's not a good answer. You should have commitments like playing sports or hanging out with friends. It doesn't matter what they are, just ensure you have your own life and a busy schedule. I know you want things to work out with her, but trying too hard can make things worse. Setting limits also involves being able to tell her no sometimes. If you're scared to do that, be prepared for the possibility that she'll leave you for someone who can. Remember, this isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. Everyone is different. How can you lead if you're afraid to say no? She might seem annoyed initially, but she usually appreciates a guy who takes charge. You need to be a strong, guiding presence, like a father figure. That's how she'll start seeing a future with you. A female friend once said things that made me uncomfortable and tried to persuade me she was right. It wasn't easy, but I finally asked her to end the conversation because it didn't sit right with me. She said I shouldn't be mad because it wasn't a big deal, but I ended it. She apologized and meant it, even though it wasn't clear she was wrong. To be a man of value, you need to trust your beliefs and instincts and not be afraid to express how you feel. Set your goals and stick to them. I know you like this girl and want to spend time with her and maybe even have kids together. She may love you, but don't let that change your plans. If she's interested in you, always stay on your path and she'll stay interested. Don't change your work routine just because she's interested in you. For instance, if your crush asks when you're free, don't let it interfere with your schedule. If you start changing the things she likes about you just to spend time with her, she might leave once you're no longer the person she fell for. Stay focused on your goals and in charge. Don't be needy. Love yourself. My friend hated being alone, so he quickly got his crush's number and started dating her. He was always excited to be with her, couldn't go a day without talking to her, and always waited for her to tell him when she was free. But Anita broke up with him because he was too needy. That being said, it's fine to call your girl, but learn to be comfortable being alone too. If making calls hurts your pride, don't do it. If she cares about you, she'll reach out. Ask yourself, does she love you, or do you need her to feel good about yourself? Set limits and remember that you're not on the same level. Being too clingy isn't great and can come off as more typical of what women are expected to do. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but you get the idea. Guys should be able to set some boundaries in their relationships. If you're always together or in touch, things are likely to go badly eventually. Guys should have their own lives, goals, and groups of friends. If the only person you hang out with is that girl, you become too dependent on her, and she knows it. 
This isn't good, so don't quit your friends just because you're dating someone. If you do, you might lose the girl and your friends, or at the very least hurt your friendships. It's also a big no-no to talk badly about your friends. It makes you seem needy and turns girls off. You might wonder why that would turn a girl off. The reason is simple. A girl usually wants a guy that other girls want, so she feels like she's getting something special by pursuing him. But if you put her on a pedestal and lose that edge, she'll probably lose interest in you too. You have to be the leader. There can't be two heads or two kings. There can only be one boss. It may not be what women want to hear. But if you want to be a man of high value, you need to be clear about this and let it show in your actions. I've seen a lot of guys say they're the leader, but they don't act like it. I'm talking about guys who do what they say. You should be the one leading the conversation and making decisions. A leader is ready to make sacrifices for his followers. She should be the one to choose where you'll meet. You don't have to agree with her. The difference between a leader and a follower isn't hard to see. Make it clear that you're in charge and be ready to leave. If a girl respects you, you're already halfway there. But how do you earn her respect? There are many ways to show her your worth and make her want to be with you. If you can't present yourself with confidence, she won't know your value. You need to find a way to show her your true worth. Your demeanor is a silent but powerful tool that earns you respect immediately. Even before you two have a conversation, she's already forming an impression of you. She might even feel a bit intimidated by your aura, which isn't bad as long as you don't come off as creepy or desperate. When you do talk, a strong presence helps you access opportunities more easily. People value and appreciate your presence more, feeling you can offer them protection. Generally, you'll find people are nicer to you and more likely to invite you to various events. Plus, girls notice this. Dressing sharply complements your overall presence which is why I mention it in the same context. If you still speak like someone insecure or lacking confidence, you're going to have a tougher time because people's expectations of you are high. This is similar to being very attractive. The way it impacts you largely depends on your personality. Before we get into this topic, let's talk about ego for a minute. A lot of people think of ego as a bad thing, but think about it. How can you think she'll like you if you don't respect yourself? You should be proud of who you are and what you've done. If you feel like you haven't done much, now is the time to change that. Now is the best time to work on getting in shape. It won't be easy to reach your financial goals, but if you work on yourself, you'll naturally develop an ego, which makes sense since you've put in a lot of work. Girls like guys with egos because they enjoy the challenge of taming the beast, so they'll test you and try to figure you out. Having a big ego can also make you mysterious, but only if you know how to handle it. On your path to self-improvement, it's important to get the right advice to move forward in life. They'll be wondering why this guy is so sure of himself. They want to learn more because it's interesting to them, like a fun game. When they're curious, they're more likely to interact with you, which is why you shouldn't tell her everything about your day. Giving away too much can quickly lose her interest. But be careful. You'll crash and burn if you show off your big ego but have nothing to show for it. Girls are very smart and can tell when you're just talking. If you don't do anything, they won't be impressed. That's a big turn-off. What you do is more important than what you say. They pay more attention to what you do. Get your life together. Get your life in order. All right, listen closely, man. It's fine to live with your parents. But if you want a girl to truly respect you, you need to demonstrate that you can stand on your own two feet. Many people these days still live with their folks, but there are many ways to show your independence, and that's what's appealing. We've talked about leading in relationships quite a bit on this channel, haven't we? It's closely related to living independently, showing that you can manage on your own, and that you are capable of handling life's financial and mental challenges. Plus, she won't have to worry about bumping into your parents every time she visits your place. I understand that many people are either too young or don't have the financial means to live alone yet. That's okay. What's important is what you're doing at the moment. If you're not striving to improve your situation, that's where the issue lies. 
Find a job, put in the effort, work hard and gain experience. Increase your value. If a girl sees that you're trying to get better and move up in life, she'll admire that. But you need to do more than just go to the gym a few times a week. That's just the basics and doesn't show how committed you are to a goal. Put in the work and set clear limits, like leaving a party early to get more work done. These kinds of acts set you apart from other people. Dressing well and keeping up with your cleanliness is another easy way to make yourself look better. Give it a try. Consider dressing nicely for a week and see how people react to you. You'll notice a difference. If you want to be taken seriously and not just seen as a gamer, these small changes in how you dress are very important. The way you dress has a big effect on first impressions when you meet someone new, and we all know how important first impressions are. So make an effort every morning to look your best for the day. Take a shower, dress sharply, trim your beard, make sure you smell good, and ensure your shoes are clean. There you go. You're ready for a great start to the day. Now let's move on to the second part of the video. Open and honest communication is key. When you're with a woman, don't be afraid to say what you think or feel. It's funny to see guys compliment a woman even when she's not dressed well or has messy hair. I can only imagine what she thinks when you keep complimenting her, even though she's not living up to the standard. Being a flatterer is unattractive, and it's even worse when you do it to a woman. If she wants to be with you, you won't settle for mediocrity. You'll be a high-value man if you tell her she's falling short and give her compliments when she does something right. Say no as many times as you can. How can you do that? Many of the suggestions that a friend, acquaintance or even a girlfriend may make might benefit them more than you. For example, I had a friend who often ignored his responsibilities to go on trips with a girl who seemed like a model. Guess what? She eventually broke up with him. If something doesn't work with your schedule or benefit you, don't hesitate to say no. Guys tend to think about things in a bigger and longer term way than women do, so if someone approaches you with selfish intentions, do it for yourself and say it loud and clear, no. Repeat after me, no. If you follow these 13 golden rules, she'll probably respect you right away. But it's important to make sure you can back up what you say. As I said, women have a strong sense of discernment, so if you can't back up what you say, you're in trouble. If you made it this far, please leave a comment below to confirm that you learned from the video. For more interesting topics, check out the recommended video you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.